My name is Mike Sullivan. I'm a former IRS agent and teaching instructor. I worked at IRS over a decade. I have worked thousands of cases. I've been on national news. I am a, a, a expert in the tax resolution industry and welcome to my YouTube channel. They're short, they're sweet, to the point, they're not scripted. I just fire, I let all my, all my mistakes in because I just think they're funny and I ain't taking them out. So I want to talk to you today though about a serious matter um, about, I think it was in 2019, maybe, I don't know, two, three years ago, IRS wanted a way to pick up some more money. So in this FAST Act, FAS, uh, FAST Act that they came along with, one of the things they did, they said, you know, I bet you we can collect a lot more money if we jerk the chain of people who owe over $54,000. I bet you if we send them a letter, 508 uh, C, and tell them we're revoking their passport or we're not going to approve their next one or revoke their current one, I bet you they're going to pay their debt or I bet you, I bet you they're going to take action to resolve it. Damn, if the government wasn't right. They have made billions and billions of dollars ever since they started sending those 508C letters. But the problem is you, if this has happened to you, need a 508R letter. Let me just tell you the process so you understand what happens. IRS sends you a letter out, scary letter that they've just revoked your passport or they're going to revoke your passport. They haven't, they're going to. You better contact the IRS. So everyone, all the calls come in. Oh my God, I'm traveling, I'm doing this. Calm down, calm down. We can go ahead and get this resolved. So the process is that IRS has sent you a series of notices out. A first notice may be a CB 2000, 501, 503, 504, 1058, and nobody responded. They let the debt go, then all of a sudden, out comes this notice. But before that, they have sent a notice of federal tax lien or a notice of levy to you. So you have got some prior enforcement or notice from IRS. But a lot of people haven't actually got the notices. They may have moved or for some reason they've gone somewhere and they didn't get them. But right now, you have got to do something about that. So the process is really simple. IRS will go ahead and recertify you if you get your case put in hardship, you make a payment agreement or an offer and compromise. Those are three ways to go ahead and get your uh, 508R letter, your recertification. Now, if you have imminent plans to travel, IRS will expedite the travel if you tell them. So when you try to call IRS, no one's going to pick up. That's why we're really good. We're kind of experts. We know who to call, what to do, get your best deal. But if you're going to do it yourself, or good luck. But if you do, you're going to wait and wait and wait. If you're going to call IRS and do this to yourself, and you say, I'm going to travel. I've got to work out a payment agreement and offer and compromise, which is going to take forever, or, or a hardship, which you have to understand the system before you get involved with that. You're going to have to send IRS your proof of travel and your itinerary so they know that's that, that you're really going. And then their special number is your call to go ahead and get that certification released. So once again, the process is IRS sends out five notices to you. And then they go ahead and they will uh, send out a lien, send out a, uh, a lien or, or a levy. And usually they'll send out a form 6152 as well, letting you know that they've gone ahead and they are planning to uh, 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 contact the uh, State Department to let them know they're doing it. So IRS gives you plenty of time. Uh, you can actually call us. We can kind of resolve all this for you or do it yourself. But you better know the system and you better know the process. When IRS gets a hold of that financial statement, you must understand what they're going to do with it. But you don't have to get all excited. When you get the letter, just take action, whether you're going to do it yourself, bring it to your own professional. Just know what you're doing before you give IRS that financial statement. But don't panic. IRS will go ahead and keep their word and reverse it. Thank you so much for uh, listening to my YouTube channel. Uh, YouTube thinks that subscriptions are really big. It kind of lets everyone know or 
the YouTube world that I, I'm, I'm giving you credible information. So I really appreciate a subscription. A like is fine, but subscriptions are big. By the way, leave me a comment. If you have a comment about uh, IRS or a question, don't give me comments. I love questions. I'm happy to answer them. I answer all my questions, by the way. And if the question's good, I'll make a YouTube on it. So thank you much. Don't forget the subscription, and I really, uh, I really appreciate you.